access your free language gifts right now before they expire. First, the Talking About Language PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. This cheat sheet will teach you how to talk about languages and phrases like, I can speak a little bit of, I've been learning for three years, and much more. Second, do you know how to connect ideas in your target language? With this one minute lesson, you'll pick up must know words like but, also, instead, therefore, and much more. Third, the 50 most common nouns that all beginners must know. Do you know all of these nouns? If not, this lesson teaches you the 50 must know nouns fast. Learn them effortlessly with the audio slideshow tool inside. Fourth, the 50 most common verbs all beginners must know. How well do you know your verbs? This lesson will drill the 50 most common verbs into your head. Just use the free audio slideshow tool inside. Fifth, the All the Language You Need for Everyday Life Cheat Sheet Bundle. Get all of our best conversation cheat sheets rolled up into one with this gift. Download it right now before it disappears. And sixth, free language learning audiobooks for anyone who's watched this far. If you visit the link below, we'll send you over to our library of language learning audiobooks, which you can get for free. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Danish. Hi everybody, my name is Jonas. Welcome to the 800 core Danish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Danish. Okay, let's get started. First is Nine. Ninth. Nine. Nine. Ninth. Ramadan er den 9. måned i det muslimske år. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Muslim year. Ramadan er den 9. måned i det muslimske år. 10. 10. 10. 10. Tenth. Jeg lavede endelig et mål i mit tiende forsøg. I finally made a goal on my tenth attempt. Jeg lavede endelig et mål i mit tiende forsøg. Ottende. Eighth. Ottende. Ottende. Eighth. Jeg bor på 8. sal. I live on the 8th floor. Jeg bor på 8. sal. Skraber. Razor. Skraber. Skraber. Razor. Manden barberer sit skæg med en indgangsskraber. The man is shaving his beard with a disposable razor. Manden barberer sit skæg med en indgangsskraber. Vaskeklod. Washcloth. Vaskeklod. Vaske Klud. Washcloth. Drengen vasker sit ansigt med en vaskeklud. The boy is washing his face with a washcloth. Drengen vasker sit ansigt med en vaskeklud. Håndklæde. Towel. Håndklæde. Håndklæde. Towel. Dette håndklæde er for småt til mig. This towel is too small for me. Dette håndklæde 
er for småt til mig. Ske. Spun. Ske. Ske. Spun. Gafler, skeer og knive er spiseredskaber. Forks, spoons and knives are eating utensils. Gafler, skeer og knive er spiseredskaber. Gaffel. Fork. Gaffel. Gaffel. Fork. Gaflen er lavet af plastik. The fork is made of plastic. Gaflen er lavet af plastik. Kniv. Knife. Kniv. Kniv. Knife. Kan du række mig kniven? Could you pass me the knife? Kan du række mig kniven? Tallerken. Plate. Tallerken. Tallerken. Plate. Snop en tallerken. Grab a plate. Snop en tallerken. Bi. 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 Bien bestøver den gule blomst. The bee is pollinating the yellow flower. Bien bestøver den gule blomst. Myr. Ant. Myr. Myre. Ant. Myr har seks ben. Ants have six legs. Myre har six ben. Slange. Snake. Slange. Slange. Snake. Jeg er bange for slanger, fordi de kan være giftige. I'm afraid of snakes because they can be poisonous. Jeg er bange for slanger, fordi de kan være giftige. Mælk. 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 Mælk er en vigtig kalciumkilde for børn og voksne. Milk is an important source of calcium for kids and adults. Milk er en vigtig kalciumkilde for børn og voksne. Designer. 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 Der findes mange slags designer, men jeg er modedesigner. There are many kinds of designers, but I am a fashion designer. Der findes mange slags designer, men jeg er modedesigner. Kunstner. Artist. Kunstner. Kunstner. Artist. Han var en meget produktiv kunstner. He was a very prolific artist. Han var en meget produktiv kunstner. Soldat. Soldier. 
soldat. Soldat. Soldier. Soldaterne går i position. The soldiers are moving into position. Soldaterne går i position. Entrepreneur. 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 Entrepreneur ændrer verden med deres idéer. Entrepreneurs change the world with their ideas. Entrepreneur ændrer verden med deres idéer. Novelle. Short story. Novelle. Novelle. Short story. Jeg læser kun noveller. I only read short stories. Jeg læser kun noveller. Mappe. Folder. Mappe. Mappe. Folder. Jeg lagde dokumenterne i en mappe. I put the documents in a folder. Jeg lagde dokumenterne i en mappe. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Danish. Hi everybody, my name is Jonas. Welcome to the 800 core Danish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Danish. Okay, let's get started. First is stipen, frying pan, stipen, stipen, frying pan. Den stipen er meget billig. This frying pan is very cheap. Denne stejepanne er meget billig. Skærebræt. Cutting board. Skærebræt. Skærebræt. Cutting board. Kokken skærer et hårdkogt æg på skærebrættet. The cook is cutting a hard-boiled egg on the cutting board. Kokken skærer et hårdkogt æg på skærebrættet. Vask. Sink. Vask. Vask. Sink. Vasken er næsten fuld. The sink is almost full. Vasken er næsten fuld. Skål. Bål. Skål. Skål. Bål. Skålen er tom. The bowl is empty. Skålen er tom. Udgang. Exit. Udgang. Udgang. Exit. Hvor er udgangen? Where's the exit? Hvor er udgangen? Kort. Map. Kort. Kort. Map. Tjek kortet for at finde vej til din destination. Check the map to find your way to your destination. Tjek 
kortet for at finde vej til din destination. Kuffert. Suitcase. Kuffert. Kuffert. Suitcase. Efterlad ikke værdigenstande i din kuffert. Do not leave valuables in your suitcase. Efterlad ikke værdigenstande i din kuffert. Turist. Tourist. Turist. Turist. Tourist. Turisten tager billeder af dyrene. The tourist is taking pictures of the animals. Turisten tager billeder af dyrene. Politik. Politics. Politik. Politik. Politics. Jeg blogger om politik og økonomien. I blog about politics and the economy. Jeg blogger om politik og økonomien. Biologi. Biology. Biologi. Biologi. Biology. Biologi er læren om levende organismer. Biology is the study of living organisms. Biologi er læren om levende organismer. Kemi. Chemistry. Kemi. Kemi. Chemistry. Laboratoriet er et sted, hvor man lærer om kemi. The laboratory is a place to learn about chemistry. Laboratoriet er et sted, hvor man lærer om kemi. Fysik. Physics. Fysik. Fy. Sik. Physics. Jeg kender det grundlæggende i fysik. I know the basics of physics. Jeg kender det grundlæggende i fysik. Økonomi. Economics. Økonomi. Øko. No me. Economics. På dette universitet er økonomikurserne fremragende. At this university, the economic courses are excellent. På dette universitet er økonomikurserne fremragende. Sætte. Put. Sætte. Sætte. Put. Forsøg venligst at sætte den kasse på øverste hylde. Please try put this box on the top shelf. Forsøg venligst at sætte denne kasse på Øverste hylde. Huske. Remember. Huske. Huske. Remember. Prøv på at huske, hvor du var søndag aften. Try to remember where you were Sunday evening. Prøv på at huske, hvor du var søndag aften. Holde. Hold. Holde. 
Holde. Hold. Kan du holde dette et øjeblik? Can you hold this for a second? Kan du holde dette et øjeblik? Indkøbsvogn. Shopping cart. Indkøbsvogn. Indkøbsvogn. Shopping cart. Indkøbsvognen er tom. The shopping cart is empty. Indkøbsvognen er tom. Plastic pose. Plastic bag. Plastic pose. Plastic pose. Plastic bag. Manden bærer på en plastic pose fuld af dagligvarer. The man is carrying a plastic bag full of groceries. Manden bærer på en plastic pose fuld af dagligvarer. Komedie. Comedy. Komedie. Komedie. Comedy. De ser en komedie og griner. They are watching a comedy and laughing. De ser en komedie og griner. Roman. Novel. Roman. Roman. Novel. Jeg kan godt lide spændingsromaner. I like suspense novels. Jeg kan godt lide spændingsromaner. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Danish. Hey everybody, my name is Jonas. Welcome to the 800 core Danish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Danish. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Danish. Hey everybody, my name is Jonas. Welcome to the 800 core Danish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Danish. Okay, let's get started. First is Ris Rice Ris Ris Rice Ris er en vigtig kilde til kulhydrater i mange diæter. Rice is an important source of carbohydrates in many diets. Ris er en vigtig kilde til kulhydrater i mange diæter. Brød. Bread. Brød. Brød. Bread. Hver søndag morgen køber vi brød, kage og småkager hos bageriet. Every Sunday morning we buy bread, cake and cookies at the bakery. Hver søndag morgen Køber vi brød, kage og småkager hos bageriet. Æg. 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 Der er gemt æg i haven. Der er eggs hidden in the garden. Der er gemt æg. I haven. Nudel. 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 Minutnudler er et populært let måltid. Instant noodles are a popular light meal. Minutnudler 
er et populært, let måltid. Begge ur. Alarm clock. Begge ur. Begge ur. Alarm clock. Begge uret er sat til klokken 5. The alarm clock is set for 5 a.m. Begge uret er sat til klokken 5. Dør. 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 Døren er lukket. The door is closed. Døren er lukket. Fjernbetjening. Remote control. Fjernbetjening. Fjernbetjening. Remote control. Vær venlig at række mig fjernbetjeningen. Please pass me the remote control. Vær venlig at række mig fjernbetjeningen. Tør. Wipe. Tør. Tør. Wipe. Glem ikke at tørre gulvet. Don't forget to wipe the floor. Glem ikke at tørre gulvet. Menu. 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 Kunden kigger på menuen. The customer is looking at the menu. Kunden kigger på menuen. Blad. Magazine. Blad. Blad. Magazine. Hver tante i praksis skal have mindst én kurv med blade i venteværelset. Every dentist office has to have at least one basket with magazines in the waiting room. Hver tandlæge praksis skal have mindst én kur med blade i venteværelset. Lydbog. Audiobook. Lydbog. Lydbog. Audiobook. Jeg lytter til lydbøger, mens jeg pendler til arbejde. I listen to audiobooks while I commute to work. Jeg lytter til lydbøger, mens jeg pendler til arbejde. Videospil. Videogame. Videospil. Videospil. Videogame. Jeg køber et nyt videospil. Denne weekend. I'm going to buy a new video game this weekend. Jeg køber et nyt video spil denne weekend. Billy. Cheap. Billy. Billy. Cheap. Jeg leder efter et billigt par sko. I'm looking for a cheap pair of shoes. Jeg leder efter et billigt par sko. Dyr. Expensive. Dyr. Dyr. Expensive. Frokostmenuen her er billig, men aftensmaden er meget dyr. The lunch menu here is cheap, but the dinner is very expensive. Frokost menuen her er billig, men aftensmaden er meget dyrt. Rar. 
kind. Ra. Ra. Kind. Hun er en rar person med et stort smil. She's a kind person with a big smile. Hun er en rar person med et stort smil. Uhyggelig. Scary. Uhyggelig. Uhyggelig. Scary. Jeg hader uhyggelige film. I hate scary movies. Jeg hader uhyggelige film. Afslappende. Relaxing. Afslappende. Afslappende. Relaxing. Søndag er meget afslappende. Sundays are very relaxing. Søndage er meget afslappende. Pund. Pound. Pund. Pund. Pound. Et pund er 16 ounces. One pound is 16 ounces. Et pund er 16 ounces. Mil. Mile. Mil. Mil. Mile. En mil er cirka 1,6 kilometer. One mile is roughly 1.6 kilometers. En mil er cirka 1,6 kilometer. Fod. Foot. Fod. Fod. Foot. Der er 12 tommer på en fod. There are 12 inches in a foot. Der er 12 tommer på en fod. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Danish. Hey everybody, my name is Jonas. Welcome to the 800 core Danish words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Danish. Okay, let's get started. First is Sydom Illness Sydom Sydom Illness Jeg tabte mig meget på grund af sygdommen. I lost a lot of weight because of the illness. Jeg tabte mig meget på grund af sygdommen. Forkølelse. Cold. Forkølelse. Forkølelse. Cold. Det er en slem forkølelse. That is a nasty cold. Det er en slem forkølelse. Skade. Injury. Skade. Skade. Injury. Bilulykker er en førende årsag til skader. Car accidents are a leading cause of injury. Bilulykker er en førende årsag til skader. Medicin. Medicine. Medicin. 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 Lægen gav mig medicin til min mavesmerte. The doctor gave me medicine for my stomach pain. 
Lægen gav mig medicin til min maves smerte. Smerte. Pain. Smerte. Smerte. Pain. Kvinden er i smerte. The woman is in pain. Kvinden er i smerte. Feber. 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 Fever. Kvinden har feber. The woman has a fever. Kvinden har feber. Vindu. Window. Vindu. Vindu. Window. Manden lukker vinduet. The man is closing the window. Manden lukker vinduet. Alkohol. 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 Disse drikke indeholder alkohol. These drinks contain alcohol. Disse drikke indeholder alkohol. Måltid. Meal. Måltid. Måltid. Meal. Kokken laver et måltid. The chef is making a meal. Kokken laver et måltid. To. Fork. To. To. Fork. Byen er dækket af to. The city is covered in fog. Byen er dækket af to. Havl. Hail. Havl. Havl. Hail. Havl er farligt. Hail is dangerous. Havl er farligt. Tortenvær. Thunderstorm. Tortenvær. Tor den vær. Thunderstorm. Tordenværet oplyser den mørke skov. The thunderstorm is lighting up the dark forest. Tor den vejret oplyser den mørke skov. Akvarie. Aquarium. Akvarie. Aquarie. Aquarium. Jeg elsker at kigge på alle fiskene svømme på akvariet. I love to watch all the fish swim at the aquarium. Jeg elsker at kigge på alle fiskene svømme på akvariet. Fodbold. Soccer. Fodbold. Fodbold. Soccer. Fodbold er verdens mest populære sport. Soccer is the world's most popular sport. Fodbold er verdens mest populære sport. Zoologisk have. Zoo. Zoologisk have. Zoologisk have. Zoo. I morgen tager vi i zoologisk have. 
tomorrow we're going to the zoo. I morgen tager vi i zoologisk have. Billetpris. Fær. Billetpris. Billetpris. Fær. Billetprisen er fordoblet i løbet af de sidste fem år. The bus fare has doubled in the last five years. Bus billetprisen er fordoblet i løbet af de sidste fem år. Bus stoppested. Bus stop. Bus stoppested. Bus stoppested. Bus stop. Kvinderne venter ved busstoppestedet. The women are waiting at the bus stop. Kvinderne venter ved busstoppestedet. Gram. 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 Æblet vejer 157 gram. The apple weighs 157 grams. Æblet vejer 157 gram. Meter. 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 Den voksne kvindes ben måler 1 meter. The adult woman's leg measures one meter. Den voksnes kvindes ben måler en meter. Kilometer. 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 Han gik 10 kilometer. He walked 10 kilometers. Han gik 10 kilometer. Well done. In this lesson, you expanded your vocabulary and learned 20 new useful words. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. How do you know if your language skills are improving? In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Jeg har hørt, du er flyttet hjemmefra. Ja, jeg er flyttet i lejlighed tæt på Universitetsparken. I den nye bygning ved siden af kiosken. Nej, på den modsatte side af parken. Ved parkeringspladsen. Ja, lige præcis. Hvordan er du kommet ind til byen i dag? Jeg er kommet med bussen. Now you will hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. At flytte. To move, to remove. At flytte. At flytte. Next we have. Hjemmefra. Away from home. Hjemmefra. Hjemmefra. Next we have. Tæt. Near. Tæt. Tæt. Next we have. Ved siden af. Next to. Beside. Ved siden af. Ved siden af. Next we have. Modsat. Opposite. Modsat. Modsat. Next we have. Park. 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 Next we have. Ved. By, at. 
Ved. Next we have Parkeringsplads. Parking lot. Parkeringsplads. Parkeringsplads. Next we have Lige præcis. Exactly. Lige præcis. Lige præcis. And last Bus. 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 Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Jeg har hørt, du flyttede hjem fra. Ja, jeg har flyttet i lejlighed tæt på Universitetsparken. I den nye bygning ved siden af kiosken. Nej, på den modsatte side af parken. Ved parkeringspladsen. Ja, lige præcis. Hvordan er du kommet ind til byen i dag? Jeg er kommet med bussen. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Jeg tror, jeg går hen og skubber Lisa i pulen. Gør det ikke. Hun bliver bare sur. Okay, så sprøjter jeg vand på hende. Nej, du burde slet ikke gøre noget, der kan gøre hende sur på dig. Jamen, hvordan kommer jeg så i kontakt med hende? Du skulle måske starte med at sige hej til hende. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Slet. Not, no. At spray them. To spray, to squirt, to spurt. Su. Mad, angry, sour. At girl. To do, to make. Ikke. Not. Yemen. But. At sea. To say, to tell. At school. To have to, have got to, must, ought to, should. At board. Ought to, should. At skubbe. To push. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Jeg tror, jeg går hen og skubber Lisa i pulen. Gør det ikke. Hun bliver bare sur. Okay, så sprøjter jeg vand på hende. Nej, du burde slet ikke gøre noget, der kan gøre hende sur på dig. Jamen, hvordan kommer jeg så i kontakt med hende? Du skulle måske starte med at sige hej til hende. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Don't forget... Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary, followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. 
jeg var til en vens bryllup i weekenden. Var det en god fest? Ja, det var det. Du gætter aldrig, hvad der skete. Hvad skete til dig? Gormens bror spillede et remix af Brudvalsen. Et remix af Brudvalsen? Ja, han er DJ. Det var helt fantastisk. Det lyder i hvert fald sjovt. Now you'll hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. I hvert fald. Definitely. Best. Party. Gum. Groom. At ski. To happen. To occur, to take place. Rudevals. Bridal waltz. Rollup. Wedding. Altri. Never. Weekend. Weekend. At gætte. To guess. At være. To be. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. See if you can understand more this time. Jeg var til en vens bryllup i weekenden. Var det en god fest? Ja, det var det. Du gætter aldrig, hvad der skete. Hvad skete til dig? Gormens bror spillede et remix af Brudvalsen. Et remix af Brudvalsen? Ja, han er DJ. Det var helt fantastisk. Det lyder i hvert fald sjovt. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Are you struggling to understand conversations in your target language? This video will improve your listening skills using practice dialogues. In this lesson, you'll listen to a dialogue with the text. Second, you'll review the key vocabulary followed by the English translations. And finally, you'll review the dialogue with the text again to master what you learned. First, listen to the dialogue with the text on the screen. Lad os skynde os indenfor. Sikke et regnvejr. Ja. Himlen var blå og skyfri, og solen skinnede for lidt siden. Det kan hurtigt skifte om vinteren. Jeg ville ønske, det ikke var så koldt. Eller at det ville sne i stedet for at regne. Ja, men ikke for meget. Ellers stopper togene måske med at køre. Nå ja, det er rigtigt. Hey, nu havler det. Now you will hear the key vocabulary, followed by the English translation. Regnvejr. Rainy weather. At regne. To rain. At sne. To snow. At havle. To hail. Ellers. Or, or else, otherwise. At skinne. To shine. Himmel. Sky, heaven. Sol. Sun. Skyfri. Cloudless. At skifte. To change, to switch. Finally, let's review the dialogue again. 
See if you can understand more this time. Lad os skynde os indenfor. Sikke et regnvejr. Ja. Himlen var blå og skyfri, og solen skinnede for lidt siden. Det kan hurtigt skifte om vinteren. Jeg ville ønske, det ikke var så koldt. Eller at det ville sne i stedet for at regne. Ja, men ikke for meget. Ellers stopper togene måske med at køre. Nå ja, det er rigtigt. Hey, nu havler det. This is the end of the lesson. In this lesson, you improved your listening and mastered key vocabulary for everyday life conversation. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to integrate self-study and learning with a teacher and learn faster. Since you're learning a language, are you learning on your own or are you also learning with a teacher? If you are, but if you're learning different things on the app and different things from your teacher, you're actually spreading yourself thin and slowing your progress. And that's because you're skipping key steps of the learning process. So today, you'll discover why learning separate things from separate sources slows you down, how combining the two helps you learn faster and hits on all the key steps of the learning process, and how to apply these tactics. But first, if you're looking for new, free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Talking About Language PDF Conversation Cheat Sheet. This cheat sheet will teach you how to talk about languages in phrases like, I can speak a little bit of, I've been learning for three years, and much more. And second, the All the Language You Need for Everyday Life Cheat Sheet Bundle, where you get all of our best conversation cheat sheets rolled up into one with this gift. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. How to integrate self-study and learning with a teacher and learn faster. Part one, do you combine self-study and learning with others? If you think about it, most language learners learn on their own with a few different resources, a few apps and maybe a textbook. And then you have learners that do both self-study and learning with a tutor. But for the most part, they learn different things from different sources. Words on this app, different phrases on that app, and maybe some unrelated grammar with a tutor. Is this something you do? Because if you do, then this disconnected approach can slow your language progress down. How exactly? There's a simple formula to learning successfully. Successful learning requires one, acquiring new information, two, practicing using what you've learned, three, getting feedback and implementing it, and then four, getting assessed, someone telling you if you're on the right track or not. So if you want to learn fast, you'll want to do all of these things. Now, if you're learning alone, then you're mostly just acquiring new information, new words from this app, unrelated phrases from that app, and so on. You're just jumping from resource to resource without practicing and getting feedback on what you've learned. And you're not going to remember what you learn as well. You're missing some critical steps of the learning process, namely the practice, feedback, and assessment from a native teacher. And even if you are learning on your own and with a teacher, but there's no overlap with your self-study, you're still missing the practice for what you're doing on your own. So it's best to combine your self-study with what you're doing with a teacher so that you learn on your own and go on to practice what you've learned with a teacher and get feedback. Now, you might be thinking, why not just learn with a teacher then without self-study? If you're learning with a tutor or teacher, then it also becomes a question of time. You're on a limited schedule. Your teachers are on a limited schedule. Plus, you have to pay for their time too. Let's say you have one hour of classes a week with a native speaking teacher. How would you want to spend it? Do you want to spend that hour listening to grammar explanations and learning new words? Or do you want to use that time practicing speaking and getting feedback? 
If you spend that hour learning words and grammar rules, then you have to wait until the next time to practice. And that takes even more time, money, and slows down your progress. So it's better to learn and prepare ahead of time on your own, and then practice those concepts with the teacher later. But if you don't prepare ahead of time, you become like that one person you probably had in your class. They didn't come prepared and the teacher always had to stop and explain everything to them and slow the class down. There's always one person like that. And it'd be better for the student and their progress if they prepared on their own. So the point of integrating self-study and learning with others is to make the most of your time with a teacher. Practice what you've learned on your own and get feedback as you practice. Otherwise, if you come to a teacher without preparation, they'll just spend the time explaining grammar rules or reviewing vocabulary, and it's not actually implementing what you've learned on your own, which you won't get to practice until next time, if at all. And if you're just doing self-study, then you likely won't get a chance to practice at all, but it's the practice and feedback that helps the language stick, and that's the part you can't skip. Part two, how to integrate self-study and learning with others. So here's what you can do. One, join our live group classes. We're currently offering live group classes for Japanese, English, Italian, Chinese, Korean, Spanish, French, Portuguese, German, Greek, and Thai. Our live classes provide you with lessons you can study on your own. And then you get to practice with our teachers in the live classes. Two, find a teacher or tutor that works with the same resource that you have, whether it's our program or a textbook. Have the tutor see what you're studying so they can match. And it's important that there's overlap, that what you're learning with the tutor and on your own is the same. So you can learn on your own and practice with the teacher. Three, you can also try our Premium Plus plan if you're not quite ready for live classes. Our Premium Plus teachers are familiar with our learning program, so there's no disconnect between what you learn on your own and what you'll learn with them. And four, find a friend or a community that's learning with the same resource as you. That way, you can practice with them and they can step in and clear up any questions that you may have. So, do you combine self-study and learning with others? Or do you plan to? Leave us a comment. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about your pronunciation is terrible. Is pronunciation important or not? If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. If you want to learn the language fast, there are some little-known learning hacks that you can use with our system. Five learning hacks that you didn't know about. And in this quick guide, you'll discover 1. How to understand and pick up on every word with the read-along method. 2. How to improve your speaking and pronunciation with one tool. 3. How to immerse yourself in native dialogues and much more. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. <laughs> Ever listen to a conversation between native speakers and wish you could follow along with a transcript? Well, you can. In fact, Listening and reading along is a popular learning hack for mastering a language. You pick up on every word, you improve your listening skills, reading skills, and engage multiple senses at once, which improves recall. And you can do just that with our lessons. On every lesson page, you get the complete word-for-word -word transcript to read along with. <laughs> Shadowing is another popular language learning trick, and it's where you repeat what you hear as a way to improve your speaking skills. So as you're taking our lessons, you can shadow the lesson conversation, and you can do this easily with the line-by-line -line audio dialogue, which breaks up the conversation into individual lines. Just press play on the audio to listen and then repeat. You can also use the pronunciation practice tool to compare yourself to native speakers. Just press the microphone icon, record yourself speaking the line, and then you can hear how your pronunciation compares to the native speaker. 
The dialogue tracks give you just the conversation of the lessons, no translations, so that you can review the conversations without retaking lessons. And if you're learning with our app, you can just set the dialogue tracks on autoplay and immerse yourself in different types of dialogues, boost your listening skills, and drill all the conversations into your brain. Just go into the settings on the app, and in autoplay, make sure autoplay is on. Turn on dialogue, turn off the other tracks, also set play next lessons to on, and the app will do the rest for you. Now, if you're not sure whether you're getting the most out of the lesson or not, well, if you follow our lesson checklists, you'll walk away knowing more of the language guaranteed. This premium PDF can be found inside the PDF download section of the lesson and gives you bonus tips to follow. Just print out the checklist and fill it out with every lesson. The word bank is kind of like your extended brain, where you can save words and phrases that you come across to the word bank, so you review them later. Just look for the word bank in the vocabulary menu on the site. But what's cool is you can also create printable study sheets for your words and phrases as well. Just click on Printer-Friendly Version. You can also click Export Word Bank. If you've organized and labeled your words into categories, such as verbs and adjectives, you can select that label and export it as a PDF. Then print the file out. You can write on it and keep it as physical study material. So, if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Remember, here's what you can do to learn all of these words by heart. Drill these words with our spaced repetition flashcards, which will help cement these words into your long-term memory. Save them to the Word Bank, your personal vocabulary collection where you can print out your own study sheets, or review the words with our looped vocabulary slideshow and play it until you know all of the words. So click the link in the description right now and sign up for your free lifetime account to get these lessons and study tools. Great work, here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.